last time on the UNP. This is day three of the Sedona Saga. Mountain Bike Mike and I continue our adventures. I'm a loop guy. That's my goal. I want to figure out a loop that I can do by myself, not just an out and back. All right, I'm here with Simon Bosman. We're here at the Zoic booth right now. And uh, he was involved with uh, one of the first riders here in Sedona, Sedona and uh, involved with building a lot of trails. And he has been a wealth of information for me. What do you think? Where should we okay, ride? I'm probably the Dead Man's Pass would be awesome. Over to well, the Mescal Trail. And now Mescal is a black, a black trail. Yeah. One person's black is not necessarily everybody's black. I guess Dawa comes back up, right? Uh, Dawa does come back up. Yeah. Okay. That's, prob that's probably your best bet, I'm thinking. We're at Rev Grips. This is Mark and Brandon. Brandon. So they're they're cut with a high power water jet. They look super clean. Mine looks super ghetto because I just cut them with a pair of scissors. It's gonna look a lot better, and uh, it's probably gonna help my hands out a lot. Um, a better ride for sure. A better ride. No, I'm kind of creaming my panties right now. This looks so sick. Look at that. These grips look good but would they stand the test that I was gonna put on them? So we're out in Western Sedona right now. We're gonna ride uh, Dead Man's and Mescal um, trails that Simon recommended. Might have an issue from the get-go. It's actually pretty common. No, this is good. No problem. All right, this is Dead Man's. This is gonna be pretty mellow, I think, for the most part. We're just gonna play with it. Yeah, dude. We gotta uh, beware of foot traffic. This is a hiking trail, popular hiking trail. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is no problem. This is fun. Look at this. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, cool little climb right here. Oh, I thought I picked my line well there, but I did not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I didn't see that rock on the right at first. <laughs> oh, shit, look at this climb. Okay. This looks gnarly. Gear way down. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> dude, I needed the power assist right there. No problem, dude. Chuck, can I have a selfie with you? Sure, man. Uh, sick. Thank Thanks, guys. Yeah. That's super fun. Thank you. you. Are you guys? I'm pretty close to being able to do this, actually. Uh -huh. Slide my wheel over to the right and then I got it. There you go. That's it. Uh -huh. Bad line. Uh -huh. I'm in the mud. <laughs> ah, there's another one. I'm gonna get good at these. Yeah, I got that one. This 
is it. All right, we are going to downhill what we just climbed up. Oh, that was a good one. That's the rock, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go over it, it's gonna be fine. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. You're gonna clear. You're not even gonna touch that rock. No. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> All right, this is mescal. Woo! <laughs> I was in like a stall wheelie. Oh my shit is making tons of noise back there. It's gonna be maintenance night tonight. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that, that rock is the only it'll issue. Just, it'll make sense to have out of the way now. Done. Oh, you're almost there. A little more, you're almost there. Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, dude, no dabs. It's a little narrow. And there's a lot of cactus, so uh, I'm just kind of like picking my way. Definitely gonna need help right here. All right. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Yeah. Here, let me back up and get a photo of you. I think with the sun here. Oh yeah, that's gnarly right there. That's super gnarly. Okay, he's gonna go scope it out, see if it's worth it to get through this gnarly section right here. We might be turning around. If we were only going through it once, I'd say let's do it. Right. But the fact that we gotta turn around anyways and come back through it, makes me think we should just turn around now. It's a long way to go on off camber. Oh, cactus Ah. Oh right on top of it. We'll see. I'm, I'm slimed up, so we should be okay. All right, we're back to this uh, problem spot. Mountain bike Mike uh, hit a cactus with his leg while he was helping me. They're barbed and they're pulling the skin out. Oh, ah. gross. Oh, it's bleeding now. Yeah. Yeah, I was able to steer with my rear wheel right there. Make that turn. Sick, dude. See if we can do it again. Yes, did it. <laughs> did I move that rock? I took the rock out? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is sketch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> did I move that rock? Dude, you, you like totally took it off. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, that was actually really fun, man. Oh, that was mescal, everybody. All right, so we just made a pit stop. We put a new battery in the camera. Took a pee pee. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit. I almost ate shit right there. Oh yeah, I'll wait for you to get your footing. You good? Yeah. Alright, that's it. Cool. Thanks, dude. Um, it was almost very bad. I can't wait to show you the video.
I looked back out of the corner of my eye and I saw like kind of like sideways stuff going on. Okay, I think this is our juncture right here. Yeah. Well, we're on the beginning of Erie and the rest of it. We took from the other side down. Oh, so gnarly. Erie is a trail that was recommended to me by some locals a few years ago. And this is the trail that I've run into trouble on twice. The sections are divided by parking lots. There's the lower, middle, and upper section. It's the middle section that's a problem. Stick to the upper and lower sections of Erie and you'll have a better time. Coxcomb is interesting because it's completely AMTB1 except for a rock barrier that's set up at the trailhead where the trail intersects Grup. I'm gonna work with the local trail crews and see if we can work on those rocks so we can get it all AMTB1. But right now, there's upper coxcomb and lower coxcomb basically. And because of those rocks, you can do either one by yourself. Um, so I recommend doing lower coxcomb from Erie and sticking to that area. This is coxcomb, this is fun, uh, flowy. And we'll, uh, we'll go down the junction of Dawa and see if we want to keep going or turn around. Let's do it. Right behind you. Intersection. This is Dawa. Dawa? And do you feel like doing it? I do feel like doing it. We got the time, I think. Do you feel like doing it? Yeah. You got yeah. the legs for it? You sure? I got the legs. This can't be a black, dude. This is like a, not even a blue, this is a green. So it makes me think that there's something up here that makes it a black. Okay. 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 Oh yeah. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Major creek crossing. I think we should turn around. Oh yeah, that's deep. That's deep. Thanks, buddy. I think that last section was one of my favorites of the whole day. Oh, last section of Erie, about a mile, so we're back to the car. Okay, guys. Hey, what up? Yeah! Here's the off camber that I almost ate shit on before. And I'm good. I see cars. I see bathroom. This is it. That was a good time. Although we were not able to figure out a loop, I'm heading back out there soon and gonna ride with Simon to figure something out. For the rev grips, I gotta say that I actually did not notice them. That's a good thing. If I don't feel a grip, that means they're working. And a huge thumbs up to rev grips. Mountain Bike Mike, thank you so much. You made my trip. Please, please, please follow him. He is Crane Legs Mike on Instagram. Do not forget to hit that subscribe and bell button. Do it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm taking Mountain Bike Mike out for our yeah. first date. Sweet.
Look at that. Oh, that looks good. Cheers to my Coke. Yeah. Are you gonna put it in your mouth? I'm gonna freaking eat it. <laughs> Look at this guy. Check it out. It's not done yet. That's though. beautiful. This burger is basically an A1 transfer unit. I'm gonna put a shitload of A1 on here. Enjoy, buddy. You worked yeah. hard today.